o o o shit now there's some holes in this cast there's some holes in this cast omg you guys roa real housewives of atlanta cast members hide your husbands okay because portia <laughs> Portia done done some shit that I didn't even think. I mean, she she just got real dirty and low with it. This is just so trifling of her. This is some trifling ass shit right here. And I'm kind of like, and it's crazy because the way I feel is like, I don't know Fallon, but I'm putting myself in her shoes. And I know damn well if Portia or any woman mess with my husband i don't give a damn if we going through a divorce the fact that you've been in my house swimmed in my pool admired my home and my private plane okay you went to a party at my house and then you want to sit here and try to say that we're not friends i don't give a damn about none of that oh my goodness portia better hope that one don't catch her with that baseball bat Cause that's some shit you don't do. Like, how do you, honestly, if I was the other cast members too, I wouldn't even want to deal with Portia because it's like, how do you know? You just wouldn't trust her. How do you do some low down shit like that? You know, she want to talk about, yeah, I know how the optics look. Yeah, they look horrible. Okay. It's like, you're messing with a cast mate's husband and honestly i'm not trying to hear the fact that um they're getting a divorce as if y'all started messing around after the fact who the hell knows i seriously think that they were together like during the marriage and also also i recall kenya okay i don't know if this is the one that she was talking about but it's mighty damn close uh, I felt like Kenya said that Portia was messing around with an African that was married. Is he not African? And is he not married? Like, what? What? Like, oh my gosh. I wonder if this is, I can't even remember when she said that. But I wonder if she knew that they were messing around with each other. Because honestly, by me, like if it was me and I didn't like the girl, I would have to tell Fallon, like, yeah, she messing with your man. Because one, I mean, I just, I couldn't hold that in. <laughs> Y'all, you at this girl's house and you messing with a husband? Come on now. So I guess they're engaged now. It's just like, what? And then word on the street is, she might be pregnant. I mean, if Secure in the Bag was a person, and if I don't give a fuck how trifling I look was a person, that would be her. <laughs> All day. Ugh. This is nasty. You know, I can just imagine, like, coming onto a show um, and opening up your home to these people and your, you know, lifestyle. And, you know, females are jealous, okay? And maybe she feel like I don't even know if they didn't even come on the show would this have happened but it's just so damn trifling of Portia to do some stuff like this I mean you was in this girl's home drinking with her you was swimming in her pool admiring her big house and her private plane and you was like I want all this just some trifling ass shit. But the same way you get them is the same way you lose them. And to be honest, I don't think Portia really cares. I think that she's just trying to secure the bag. And that's why if, you know, if it, it would make sense if she is pregnant. She moved really, really fast. Like, she don't give no fucks. You know, it's just like, this is the line that you across. You will mess with somebody's husband that was on the show. <sighs> I don't think that's ever been done in history. She is the first official hoe. So this whore, I mean Portia, um, says that our relationship begun a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. 
First of all, duh, when people first get together, they most definitely should be crazy in love. That's called the honeymoon stage. But you want to risk it all. You want to risk your reputation for a honeymoon stage. You want to risk your reputation for somebody's husband. Because I guess, you know, I guess, look, that private plane spoke to her, okay? She said Dennis hot dog money wasn't doing what she thought. And she wanted a private plane. And she was going to go through no... Let me tell you, a woman like this, a thing like this, will mess with her sister's man, okay? I'm just keeping it real. Someone like this, have they don't have any moral compass at all. You see how you, she lied on uh, Candy with the, um, you know, putting that drug and allegations out? I don't know. She's just pretty girl, but, uh, and I, I liked her, but... No, this is crazy. I know it's fast, but we are living life each day to its fullest. I choose happiness every morning and every night. Girl, <laughs> you might be choosing balance. I I'm just saying, okay? Tuning out all negative energy and only focus on positive wishes. But you are the negative energy, okay? What you just did was hella negative. Nobody made you do that. You did that. He makes me so happy, and to me, that is what matters most. You know, it, this is reminding me of, like, a dig. Like, she's trying to put this in this girl's face because when her and Dennis got together, or her and Todd, um, the other Todd, <laughs> Candy Watch a Man, I don't recall her making a post like this, okay? But I could be wrong, but I don't recall that. I had nothing to do with their divorce filing here, right? That's between the two of them. Fallon and I are not friends. I don't understand that part, but okay. But you've been in her house. <laughs> and Simon's divorce has been settled. Our relationship is a positive, loving step forward in everybody's lives. Everybody except for Fallon. Um, Simon and Dennis are committed to being respectful and supportive of uh, of my happiness in this situation, as well as being the best co-parents they can be to baby PJ. Two black men stepping up and being amazing people. Let's praise them. All right. How can how about we praise? not backstabbing and and trying to hurt black women okay how about we do that meanwhile you just put a knife in another black woman's back <sighs> it's truly a beautiful moment in my life <laughs> yeah because you about to get a private plane um and we cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together is this girl off I, like, I don't, I, no, I don't, I don't get this. You know, I already knew this with the railroad thing, but the way her mind thinks is just kind of like unrealistic. So you just, y'all have just been dating for a couple of months. You're in a honeymoon stage. You've dated enough to know that this is a honeymoon stage, but you're already talking about, we cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together but you guys have only been dating for a few months. So what makes you so sure that um, this is going to be, this is going to last forever? You know, like, I, I don't understand. Wasn't you engaged to Dennis and he cheated on you? I, I don't understand talking that way when you're fresh into a relationship. I will not ever talk that way when I'm just dating someone and haven't got to know them. I mean, of course you want to be like, oh, this guy is so cool. He makes me laugh, happy, whatever, whatever. But, I mean, come on. You're just setting yourself up for failure. And look, I see Latoya forever. She's like, ah, love is love. Girl, you only saying that because um, you didn't like Fallon. But truth be told, if this was to happen to you, you would be mad. And I like Latoya, but, you know, look, you would be mad. I, It's not even, this situation is not even about who, who I like and who I don't like on the show. This is just about, like, being a woman and, and putting myself in that situation and knowing that, like, oh, my goodness, I, this will be just a, a backstab. And, it's like, oh, I hope she's going to be on the show next season. I hope she catch her outside just so they can talk. 
I had a similar situation happen to me where this girl tried to like sneak and talk to a dude that I was talking to or I used to talk to, but you know, I wasn't, he was, he was too fast for me. And, um, I saw her sneaking, getting his number. Then, um, the same girl, uh, and then, you know, she was trying to say to me like, I'm not that way and blah, blah, blah. And she had even called somebody that she knew or whatever, like just trying to just explain her character to me. And I'm just like, girl, and then come later on, she ended up doing that again with my ex, someone I actually did care about. And I'm talking about, let's just say, I almost, she had to change her work schedule. Let's just say that, okay? I really do feel like Portia was the reason for their divorce, okay? Because we all know we can't depend on Portia to keep it real. She's a liar. She wouldn't admit to breaking up a marriage, but I really hope Fallon be okay because I this... This is just a shocker, and I hope she finds love again. Um, and again, the same way you get them is the same way you lose them. So just sit back and wait, Fallon. <laughs> it's only a matter of time, girl. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.